Hey guys, it's Natalia. I'm here today with an empties video for you. I don't do all that many empties videos, to be perfectly honest, purely because I don't really get a chance to go finish too many products or because I just don't remember to keep my rubbish. I've made a point this these past few months to try to keep um, things as I run out of them or as I'm almost running out. Some of these are almost finished, but the rest of them are completely gone so um, this is just a point where I give you some quick reviews would I, would I purchase them again would I not purchase them again and um, stuff like that so let's get into this box of interesting rubbish the first thing I've got here is this Tresemme thermal protect thermal creations heat tamer protective spray this um, annoyed the crap out of me purely because I purchased it and hey there's still some left no there's not um, I purchased it, I used it maybe twice, I then had to go somewhere and I put it in my bag and then it leaked everywhere. I got to where I was, I was going away for a weekend or something, I got to where I was and this was completely empty, all my clothes were completely soaking and smelling like this. Luckily it's not a offensive smell, it's kind of really nice, um, but I just didn't get a chance to use it. Would I purchase it again? Probably because there are a lot of people that rave about this. I really do like the ultra fine mist. It doesn't feel your, it doesn't like shove a whole lot of wet product in your hair that you then need to let dry before you can straighten it. So I did like that about that, um, but I will probably purchase it again at some point. The next thing I've got here is the uh, La Roche Posay Effaclair Duo. Um, this is a holy grail item for me. I really like it. It's a moisturizer and for corrective and unclogging anti perfection care. It says anti imperfection care. I find this works best for me at night because it just um when i wake up the next morning i feel that my uh breakouts and stuff are slightly clearer when i use it at night so i really like that i'll always purchase this one and i've got some shampoo and conditioner this is the garnier fructus um what is this oil repair this is in Spanish. I got this when I was in Mexico in the middle of the year. Uh, when I go overseas, I don't take shampoos and conditioners with me because it's easy to buy over there. This was the only one I found in the resort that I was staying at at the time. Um, and I really didn't like it. Um, I don't really like Garnier uh, fructose shampoos and conditioners anyway. I prefer to have like sulfate-free ones. I can't read anything on here because that's all in Spanish but I just don't like them. I wouldn't recommend these. I personally wouldn't buy it. The shampoo didn't really, I just felt like it just sort of washed in and then washed out. It didn't really make my hair feel clean at all. And the conditioner, um, which is this one, just didn't make my hair feel conditioned. I just, yeah, not happy with that one. I would purchase that again, even if it is available here in Australia. Another thing I wouldn't even touch with a barge pole is this. This is the You Mean Everybody Sumptuous Skin Mousse for Dry Skin Relief. It contains patented Proderm technology. This is basically a mousse moisturizer. Can you see this? It's like a golf ball. This is a mousse moisturizer that you're supposed to rub into your skin and it's supposed to add moisture, being a moisturizer. This is the worst stuff in the world. The fact that a moisturizer would sit there like that is questionable anyway. So I'm just going to put that there. Uh, you put this in your skin and I actually feel like it dries your skin out more than my skin did before. I'm someone who's just, my skin usually is quite dry anyway, so having something on there that is even drying up, drying it, that dries you out, not a fan of that. I don't like it at all. I'm reading the ingredients in here. What is in me? Purified water, propylene glycol, butane, palmitic acid, styriac acid, isobutane, propane, PVP, glycerin and polysorbate 20 tri triethanolamine <laughs> and dimethicone um, I don't know there's something in there that is not nice it does not make your skin soft in any way it's horrible I, yeah I've used this once so it's pretty much full and I'm just gonna throw it out I don't want that on my skin and look it still sits there it's still sitting there like a little golf ball it almost bounces it's, ugh, it's weird not a fan of that I've used a Batiste dry shampoo with a hint of color this is the deep and dark dark and deep brown hair clean refresh hair in an instant um i actually don't know if i'm a dry shampoo person to be honest i've got really thick really thick frizzy the hair anyway um i don't get very oily so i can go maybe three days without having to wash my hair and it's fine so i don't really use it but when i do use it i kind of feel it adds too much thickness and too much body and just makes it too the i just i don't like it i don't like how it feels in my hair. So I probably won't actually repurchase this again. I don't think I purchased this one anyway. I think this was given to me in a subscription box. 
I've got a few of the other um, like non-dark ones, the ones that leave the white cast on your hair, which I also don't like either, because it, it's, I've got dark hair and it doesn't work for me. So um, I'm just gonna chuck that out. I don't know about Sample. that. A uh, perfume that I finished is my Dolce and Gabbana Light Blue. I love this perfume. It's like one of my all-time favorite perfumes in the world. Um, I finished it. I love that it's a little purse-sized spray bottle. I think it's only five mils. 7.4 mils and it's perfect size um, to chuck in your handbag. I love this smell. I've got the full size one of it anyway. I've also got a Traveler that has got this in there. Um, I love it. I do want to find another one of these size of it anyway though because I just it's really handy to have and I really enjoy it. I have finished a Garnier Mineral Invisicalm after shaving 48 hour anti white marks, anti perspirant, non alcohol, non parabens deodorant. It's a mouthful. Um, this is okay. It was a deodorant. It worked. It didn't make me smelly. It didn't have white marks. Would I buy it again? I kind of prefer Rexona over these, but you know, it did the job, so I'm not really a big aficionado on deodorants. I have finished a Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. I really like this. This is a quite a thick moisturizer. Um, it says you can use it morning and night. It is recommended for dry out or prematurely aging skin. It really is very hydrating and moisturizing. So if you are looking for a daytime moisturizer or a nighttime moisturizer that's a little bit thicker, this is a really good one. I really do love Dermalogica range. I think they do some really good products and I would most probably purchase that again. I've just got some other um, moisturizers I need to get through first. Hey, speaking of moisturizers, a Body Shop Neroli Jasmine Body Lotion. This is just a small bottle of this. I really like this body lotion. It is a lot thinner then their body balm. The jasmine just smells really really nice. It's quite thin and liquidy cook instead of like their body butters but it soaks into your skin really really fast. Doesn't leave my hands having that moisturizing, oily, greasy kind of feel which I don't like. Um, it's just a really nice moisturizer. It was also good to have that little smaller bottle for like traveling and stuff. So I would probably look into purchasing other products from the um, body shop range anyway. I'm almost finished. A um, Bioderma Kraline H2O. I've got this much left. I, this is a 500ml bottle. I love this. I swear by this stuff. It is my holy grail makeup cleanser, remover. This is a 500ml bottle. I picked this one up when I was in France a couple of years ago. I think I came back with about eight bottles of this because it was so hard to get at the time. In fact, you couldn't even get it in Australia when I was in France. So I brought some home with me. Um, and this is, <laughs> I've finally gone through my last bottle. This is it. It is now easily accessible in Priceline, although the Priceline I've got, I've only got these small little tiny bottles and that really wouldn't last me very long at all. But in the meantime, I might have to get that because that's all there is or I might have to see if I can find it online or something. But love this, we'll always repurchase it and um, kind of sad to see that go. I might have to go to France again to get another one. Sechvite Nail Polish Remover Top Coat, Fast Dry Top Coat. This is the best top coat in the world, to be perfectly honest. It is leaves your nails feeling really shiny. It is very, very fast drying. It is amazingly how amazing how fast drying this makes your polish. I love it. The only thing that annoys me is, as you can see, there is still some product in there. It does dry out. It gets to this stage. Every single bottle of this I have used, it gets to about this far and just the rest dries out to a point where you can't use it. You can get some um, thinning, liquidy, anti-clogging stuff and put it in there. To be honest, I couldn't be bothered because you have to spend more money on that to get this. I'd rather just buy a new one of these. I have been using the Sally Hansen Diamond Nails. I think it's the fast dry top coat. I much prefer this. I find the Sally Hansen one says it's fast drying, but I can touch my nails two hours later and it would still be wet. This one is touch dry in minutes. I love Sesh feet. Love it. I'm throwing this out. This is a eyeshadow trio from Model Co. It's the palette 01 Naturally Neutral in the colors of Costa Rica, Centrope, and Portofino. I don't know which one's which. Um, the reason I'm throwing out, I'm throwing this out for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because it's just crap. The quality isn't that good. The pigmentation isn't good. That middle shade, like it's really powdery, kind of crap. The other ones, you don't blend very well. You know, I just, I don't like them. They're just not a good eyeshadow brand. And the second reason is, it's um, Morocco, to be perfectly honest, they have burned their bridges with a lot of beauty bloggers here. Um, there's been some recent issues, I'd say, with Morocco and some of their comments that they've been making on bloggers and YouTubers and stuff. And that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Is that the saying for me? So anything Morocco that I'm out throwing out, don't want to use it, don't want to know about them. So... Been. Oh, one more thing from Model Co is this Fiber Lash Extend Mascara. This is one of these lengthening fibrous um, mascaras. 
it doesn't do anything, it doesn't add length, it doesn't add volume, it smells like chemicals, it's just a really horrible bad product, don't like it, I've never liked it, um, yeah. Bin. The next thing I've got here is this Designer Brands pencil. This is a black coal pencil. The reason I don't like this, it is so hard, it is really dry, you need to really, really press on it. The pigmentation, it's okay, but it doesn't stay in your waterline, it's really, really hard, especially if you're using it as an eyeliner. Eyeliners to me need to be super, super soft. You don't want extra pooling on your eyelids because that can cause wrinkles, damage your delicate skin around your eyes. This you need to really, really press. Mainly because it's got this, um, they've got this grand idea to have this pencil sharpener inside the lid, but what they don't realize is that the pencil sharpener lets air in and that dries the pencil out. If they didn't have that, it probably would be quite soft, um, but they do have that, it's horrible to use. Check it out. The next thing I've got here is this Way White Lotus Hydrating Face Treatment Pad. This is one of the sheet um, face masks that you get. I'm pretty sure I got this from the Beauty Loop Level 2 from Mecca last quarter, not this recent one. Um, I put this on and I really enjoyed it. I found it really did bring a lot of moisture to my face for quite for that entire week after I used it. My skin first still felt really, really soft. I'm not sure how much these are to purchase. I'm pretty sure they're probably quite pricey because they're from Mecca. Um, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. Uh, and now to a few samples that I have finished. I got a sample of the Whatnot Facial Wipes. I love these makeup remover wipes. I don't use them to make it, remove makeup all the time. If i am got like a really, really full face of makeup, because I'm filming and then go to the gym, I will quite often just use one of these to wipe it off before I go to the gym so I don't look like a complete idiot going to the gym with false lashes and pink lips and, you know... Yeah, but they're really nice. They're really, really nice and soft. They are cruelty free. They're organic. Um, they're biodegradable and com combustible, compostable, and they're Australian owned. Haven't had to purchase a full packet of these, but I certainly will because they are my favourite facial wipes that you can get in the world. I love them quickly. I've got this Care Series Extra Lisse Defrizz System Intensive Smoothing Cream Fizzy and un Frizzy and Unruly Hair Sachet. I got this from a, um, a sample gift with purchase kind of thing from a website. Um, it is a leave-in treatment. I don't actually know why I bothered using this because my shampoos and conditioners, I'm trying to avoid silicon-based shampoos and conditioners, sulfate, paraben-free, stuff like that. Um, and this one basically says, intensely disciplines and controls frizzy and unruly hair, leaving it durably sleek. It's exclusive defrizz system and hide your smooth silicon repair the hair fiber and protect it from damage by heat. So basically it's just adding a silicon coat to your hair. Yeah. After I put it on when I was wet and when my hair dried, you could really feel the silicon coating on it. I really didn't like the feel of it. It kind of weighed my hair down um, and yeah, wouldn't purchase that. I'm not a big fan of that one. I finished a sample of the photo finish foundation primer from Smashbox. I really do like this primer. This is one of the very few face primers that I've used and noticed that my foundation stays on a lot longer. So I will be purchasing one of them. I think you can get that from Kit Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, I really do like I that. I have finished a sample of the Dermalogica Special Clearing Cleansing Gel. I really do like this one. It's very soft, very gentle, suitable for all skin types. And it's just a really nice foaming cleansing gel. Works really well with my Clarisonic. So really... I've already actually got a full size one of them, so always will have that on hand. I have got this Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Instant Action Lift Treatment. This tiny little sample here is supposed to be like an anti-wrinkle type product. It's too small to really see if it does anything. I didn't really feel like my face was lifted. It just was a cream. Probably wouldn't purchase that. Apparently that's also quite expensive as well. So, not And the last thing I've got here is a little sample of the Glam Glow Mud Mask. Um, don't know why I'm opening it up. There's nothing in there. I really like this so much to the f point that I went and bought this full size product the very next day. I've done a full review of that. I'll go and link that down below so you can go and check that out. Look at this. It's still just sitting there. It's just this big ball of crap just sitting there. Horrible, horrible stuff. So that is it for my empties video. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I don't often do empties video. I will be making a point of trying to collect it. It's not going to be every month. It might be every three months or whatever. But when I've got enough that I think is a decent amount for a video, I will then put it together and um, show you what I have finished. So thanks for watching. If you do like empties videos, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep collecting my rubbish so I can show you more things that I've finished See you soon but I'm gonna go and wrap this up now before I continue rambling and I'll talk to you soon bye